Congruent angles are angles having the same measure. This is the symbol for congruent, an equal sign with a squiggle on top. This expression would be read aloud as angle A is congruent to angle B. Two angles that butt up against each other, sharing a vertex and a side, are called adjacent angles. These are not adjacent angles. They share a vertex but no side. And these are not adjacent angles. They share a side but have different vertex points. Adjacent angles share their vertex and one side. When two lines in a plane are not parallel, they cross or intersect at a point. This intersection point is the vertex for four angles as shown. Vertical angles are the pairs of angles opposite each other. So these are vertical angles, and these are vertical angles. Vertical angles are always congruent. Two positive angles that add up to a right angle are complementary angles. The angles don't need to be adjacent to be complementary. They just need to sum up to a right angle. Similarly, two positive angles that add up to a straight angle are supplementary angles. The angles don't need to be adjacent to be supplementary. They just need to sum up to a straight angle. But when two supplementary angles are adjacent, they form a linear pair. A linear pair is two adjacent positive angles that are supplementary. Supplementary angles don't have to form a linear pair, but every linear pair consists of supplementary angles. When two lines cross, linear pairs are the angles on one side of either line. They're always supplementary, adding up to a straight angle, and of course they're adjacent. A line that crosses two other lines is called a transversal. In our case, we'll assume the two lines are parallel. The transversal line creates four angles at each intersection, as shown here. The angles are called transverse angles, and we'll cover their relationships next. Each angle has a corresponding angle at the other intersection. Corresponding angles are in the same relative location at each intersection point. Corresponding angles are congruent. Alternate interior angles are the pairs of angles on the inside of the parallel lines and on opposite sides of the transversal. Alternate interior angles are also congruent. Alternate exterior angles are the pairs of angles on the outside of the parallel lines and on opposite sides of the transversal. Alternate exterior angles are congruent. Interior angles of transversal are the pairs of angles on the inside of the parallel lines and on the same side of the transversal. Interior angles of transversal are supplementary. Their sum is a straight line, or 180 degrees. Exterior angles of transversal are the pairs of angles on the outside of the parallel lines and on the same side of the transversal. Exterior angles of transversal are supplementary. There's a helpful video, TR-03X, that explains this a little more and has some extra problems. The next video is TR-04, Angle Measurement in Degrees.